All right. I just wanted to talk about love and marriage. I really just wanted to try her thing and see if the broadcast works, considering that we now have the new app, I think. Why are you going sideways? Because you can go sideways now. Are people going to be twisting their phone? Because <laughs> <laughs> you started one way and then moved it the other? I don't know. So what do you want to talk about love and marriage? I got to hold this thing like this? This is an uncomfortable phone. Oh, well, because it's meant to go sideways. I guess we're alone. Oh, no. RT. RT. RT, where are you from? Look, I think the app is acting up, so we really don't know who's in here. Yeah, that happened to me earlier today when I was broadcasting. I couldn't yeah. see anybody. After I got off, I noticed that there was over 100 people in my feed, and I didn't see them at the moment. So if someone's there, can you show me by showing some hearts so we know you're there? And comment, talk to us. So anyway, we said we were going to talk about love and marriage. No, you said you were going to talk about love and marriage. No, you asked me what said, we want to talk no, about. I said, what do you want to talk about? You said love and marriage. I didn't say love and marriage. I just said marriage. Who talked about love? <laughs> it's, it's, it goes hand in hand. Uh, oh, look, your things are down here. Oh, oh there okay. you go. Okay, now I can see you. You're getting old and no longer understand technology. Surge! <laughs> I was just talking about you. Yeah, I heard you were at a networking event. He had to leave early, though. Oh, yeah, because he's a hustler. Yeah, his boss told him. His boss? We're going now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can talk about love and marriage, too, huh, Serge? So, anyway. For Give me some love. Give me some hearts, man. Don't just watch. Give me hearts. So, anyway. Hearts. For those of you that don't know, my name is Alexa. And my name is Bert. We love, I love you, you, too. too. <laughs> you don't love me, man. You don't give me no hearts. Anyway. Click the hearts. He doesn't know. He's talking yeah, just, about let, Listen, listen, old oh, man. Just tap how. the screen. If you tap the screen, you end up giving me hearts. I guess he can't tap the screen. He's busy with his other hand. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and tell us. <clears throat> anyway. So, um, I've been... <laughs> I'm older than you. I'm having a heart attack. Should we call rescue? <laughs> anyway, for those of you that are out there listening to us, Serge, you already know the story. Oh, there we go. He figured it out. <coughs> Bert and I have been married for... A long, long time. Decades. <laughs> decades. Actually, Val and I were talking about it today, and I've grown up with Bert. <coughs> I actually met Bert when I was 17 years old. That was yesterday, right? Yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, that was a long, yes, in <laughs> a faraway galaxy. Yeah. Yes, it was. I'm glad you're It buddy. really felt like it was. It, we met in the 80s. It was a different galaxy back then, that's for sure. So anyway, so um, I think one of the things that uh, a lot of people ask us is how have we managed to keep our relationship together for so many years? And especially, you know, we've raised four children and, um, and we're, have, still, we're still raising the four children. And we've adopted a couple more in between there, too. Uh, but how do we keep it together? And you know what? One of the things that I always tell people is that marriage is a roller coaster and some years you're totally in love with each other and can't get enough of each other and then some years i just want to take a bat to his head and i think that goes with any relationship uh whether you're in an intimate relationship or just a platonic relationship with somebody it's a roller coaster ride and you just need to know if you're willing to take that roller coaster ride through the through the ups and the downs and bert and i so far have you know we're working on year 26 now 26 yeah 26 times go by when you're having so much fun <laughs> but we've had more challenges than most i think and uh we just seem to always be on the same page one of the one of the first rules that we had early on in our relationship was that we never would go to sleep mad at each other that doesn't apply anymore anyways <laughs> sure does but but yeah for a long time we don't like going to sleep angry with each other and we we talk about things even if we're passing out that we're so tired sometimes we just really communicate and tell each other how we're feeling and how we're making each other feel and i think that's really important <laughs> i'm naked <laughs> it reminds me of the other night when you were sitting on the sofa wearing those tiny tiny shorts thank god they had a lining in them because <laughs> i almost had a heart attack <laughs> 
<laughs> it's cracking up right now. <laughs> And then you put your leg up, huh? Hey, guys, for those of you that are here, I can only see three of you here. Oh, let me see who it is. Okay, I can only see, I don't know how this works. Two people are on the web. But if you're able to, please, how does, I don't, I, I don't know how know. this works. I don't know either. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, but I got rid of it. Well, anyways, if you are here, please, if you're enjoying the conversation, give us hearts and also share. Go ahead and share our feed to other people because these are just one of the many videos we're going to be doing. We're going to bring into our life. If but, you it, but it's not just videos, though, because when people meet us, they have to understand that we're a family unit. And that includes our children and our business partners and, you know, our team. They mean everything. Close hey, to JJ. And including our babies. Yeah, share. Make sure to share. Share the feed. But we were talking about being married and how long we've been married and how important it is to find a significant other that you can relate with. We've been married for over 25, 26 years now. You're going on 26 years. And we we're just saying that, you know, it's something that you have to work on every day. As you talk, hearts keep coming out, out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm about to block you, man. Oh, somebody's been married for... Oh, that's JJ. I know who's been married that's for JJ. Years. Yeah. That's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, in today's you world... You know what's cool is I think one of the, the best things about being married and being on the same page with somebody is that you get to share so many experiences and you always feel like you're not alone. Coach no, Alrod just joined us. No matter where I am in the world, even if Bert and I are apart on two different continents... I always feel connected to him and we always find a way to communicate to each other every day even when it's tough to communicate if I'm in another country and he's in another country um, we always find a way to communicate and stay on each other's pages make sure that we check in with each other I've heard a lot of people say oh but it sucks having to report to somebody and I don't see it as reporting as it is putting somebody's mind to ease that loves you and just letting them know that you're okay because so many things are so dangerous in this world or you know, you just fly off. If you're not constantly communicating with the person that you love, and I don't, I don't mean like obsessively communicating. We just communicate to make sure that we're safe and that we know what's going on with each other. Our motto is when it's what clears. Yeah, we still hold hands. It's the same thing we're talking about. We're talking about that we have a Whoa, thing. We're choking that smoke together. <laughs> that we, we talked about that we had this rule that we would never go to sleep being angry, angry at each other. So we would actually talk things out. And we still do that. You know, we can't, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And the way I look at it is I was brought up only an only child with my, um, my mother and I always wanted a family. And what I did was I manifested the best family anyone can ever have. And I am so happy with my family and the people that I surround myself with all the time. I am truly blessed. I just, you know, one of the things that I feel that a lot of people have a misconception about us is that we're hard to reach and 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 that you know we live a, a lifestyle that's completely different than everybody else and we are just like everybody else we we go on social media we go to the supermarket you know we spend time with our families I <laughs> yeah yeah that guy Serge don't follow him <laughs> <laughs> that's one of Bert's dear friends so don't mind him guys <laughs> Yeah, yes, yeah, we're, we, busy. We're, we're busy and actually Valerie and I were talking about that in the car today that no matter how busy we get I like to always connect with people even if it's just a little text message on whatsapp even look Val just texted us that she's home safe and sound and even if it's just a moment to tell somebody you know hey I'm thinking about you or whatever I just feel like we all have a couple of seconds within our within our lives that we should be able to connect with each other and and hey, oh, hey, hey girl how have you been <laughs> wow i love your new house it's so beautiful that's 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 a piece man that that house is something else my favorite couple <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that about love and marriage and yeah. about how long we've been together for over 25 for 26 years yeah now. and communicating with each other and that's what i'm saying is that um a lot of times what happens in, in a long relationship like the one that we've had is that you lose touch with each other's feelings or you don't do the little things that matter. Uh, if Bert 
you know, um, get something new, he'll call me and I'm excited for him. Or if we're on a goal, we encourage each other. And if we're going through tough times, it's always been that one of us stays strong while the other one is recuperating from whatever we're down in. And that seems to have really worked for us throughout the years. Yeah, I mean, one thing I look forward to, that you should look forward to when you're meeting someone, is find someone that is interested in what it is that you do. And you can grow together and create that power tra team that, you know, um, Honey Badger's talking about. Oh, she has one, too. Though. Yeah, that we look up to her, too. She has six children. Yeah, and that's she's, an amazing, intelligent, beautiful woman. Yeah, she is. She's awesome. Bye, and, Serge. <laughs> are you really leaving? Are you gonna keep hustling, you know, harassing me over here? Yeah, no, but but um, yeah, you're awesome, and we you know like we were talking about earlier, we are gonna start doing these things, and it's a little different compared to what we were used to doing. However, you know, we do put our life out there with the reality show and everything, and I think this is another way of us being able to communicate with the world and talk to them from the bottom of our hearts. Nothing is scripted. Nothing is. You know, written up. It's just whatever we turn on this camera, whatever comes, it goes. Yeah, it's such a different medium. It is. Yeah, it it really is. is. I'm used to speaking to thousands of people in an auditorium, and then I get nervous right I'm before. Get intimidated it. by like, the I don't. And then when it's empty, I'm wondering, oh my god, nobody's watching. This is horrible. But you know, I guess it's part of the game. It's part of everything. I remember the first time I got on stage was kind of tough. I thought I was gonna have a heart it, attack. It's tough all the time. Yeah, I'm used to, to recording. Record it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's easy. Yeah. You can edit all the mistakes, you know. <laughs> this is raw. You know, your hair's out of place, you know, whatever. It's raw. <clears throat> hey, congratulations on you uh, losing your weight. I'm so proud of you. This is awesome. She does weigh in Wednesday. Honey Badger. Oh, really? And she had an issue uh, losing a pound, and she actually lost like five pounds. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. We miss you. Yeah. I've tried to call you a couple times. I haven't been able to get a hold of you, though. Yeah, JJ. Yeah. JJ is awesome. Oh, I'd man. love to. You you have my number. You know you know how to get in touch with me, girl. She wants us to get a sponsor so we can fly her down for our event. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You it, truly never know. The law know. of attraction. Let's go ahead and pray on it, and I bet you something's going to come up. You got a new phone? It's about time, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I just I was really digging those pictures of you transforming that house. That house is such a um the whole house, the 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 things in there, it was just oh my god, I was drooling. It was so beautiful. I got some awesome results for the NYC summit. I'm trying to get you guys up north. Hey, anywhere we can go, doesn't matter. We're not picky. Nah, we just love to travel. Yeah. I think that's one of our biggest addiction is traveling. I, I think so too. Yeah, I, I've even been as brave one time with my brother when we were in England. We were like, but we didn't make reservations for the whole time. We we're like, just grab the backpack. If we got to sleep under a tree, we will. Oh, you remember uh, about a year or two ago, uh, we rented um, a, ho a couple hotel suites for um, my daughter's birthday. But she had so many friends stay over that we basically, what we were going to do, li leave the kids you know, sleeping outside or wherever. Some of these kids just got dropped off. So we were like, okay. So Bert, LJ, and I, we went to the pool and we actually slept on the on the, um, on the the lounge chairs next to the pool. Of course, it was Oceanside, so it was a little easy, but it was really nice. And we just stared at the stars and slept under the moon the whole night. And it got cold. Remember that? <laughs> JJ, JJ is going to get an award. What are you getting an award for in October? Tell us what the award is about. So other than that, just want to touch base with some of you guys. Make sure you follow us. Make sure that you promote. For being positive. Our feed. That's right. That's what it's all about. Um, but you know, positive. Being positive is a lifestyle. Yeah, but you know what, JJ? It's not just that you're positive. You just overall have a great aura you're you're confident about you and the way you feel about your family and it, you're such a hard worker and and i mean we know this because we know you and he's extremely faith -driven. yeah and and he's he's make sure that he Actually, always... in fact both of them um cat and and jj are both faith driven and you're really strong when it comes to that i've always had an issue with faith and she's always had faith and it always comes th uh, through i don't want to get into a preaching session but you know we, oh. we we're all the same Mindset. But but you know what? And and um, I was talking to actually an, a friend today who was saying that 
you know, that he, he's been tested a lot lately in his life. And I said, hey, listen, I, I've been tested a lot, even, even recently. I mean, we get tested all the time. And I think that faith is just to that point where sometimes... I don't know, you gotta shake yourself up and say, you know, I'm still gonna stay here no matter what the struggles are. I'm still gonna move forward. I'm still gonna pick myself up and I'm still gonna try and push forward. And and faith picks you up sometimes and pushes you through it. But you have to believe in it. You have to really believe in it and believe in yourself. Yeah, and the belief has to be, be it has to be such, you have to have such certainty in your heart and believe in it so much in order for it to become a reality because a lot of people yeah but a great quality of life you have to struggle with and you get challenges all the time too are, are we back give us a thumbs up if we're back i think we froze there for a second are we yeah. back i don't know i guess we lost the connection oh, oh she's, she back. She's, she's back. back she's back so yeah uh, I'm back. <laughs> there's a thumbs up. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's like, I see a lot of people doing what we're, what we're doing right now. A lot of the people are using scope, but like everything else is all new. And there's a lot of people that are doing things that I really don't approve. Like, you know, showing off all their toys and how rich they are and you're not type of attitude. And our, our, our post could be different. You know, we're just... You know, we have good things. We have a great quality of life. However, I don't need to be rubbing it in your face. It's more about teaching you how you can have your quality no, of life. and just show people how to have a family that sticks together. That's really, for me, what's more important. The most important for us is that. Yeah, I've reached this place for over 100 hours in the first week. Yeah, this place is crazy. It's too many things being, the, the feeds and everything. It's too many people joining, which is cool. You know, it's just, just be careful who it is you're following. You know, there's a lot of people that you think they're really sincere and they're coming. They're not. They're just taking in different directions. I agree with Kat. I would like you to, to scope together. <laughs> 3,600 people an hour. An hour? Wow. wow. That's craziness. Oh, where the hell are they? We only have a couple <laughs> here. I guess we're not doing something right. You need to coach us. You need to tell us how to do this in order for this to work. Oh, what do you, it's LJ. Look. We got we got cat. Look 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 who's joining us. Oh! Oh, I was like, who are we talking to? Like, oh, we're parents go. Yeah, we got. Uh, yeah, we need to talk. We'll let us know when. You got our number. This busy. Monetize this busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's uh, honey badger. Yeah, no, JJ said other. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm home. Call her. She's gonna show you. She's gonna tell you how to use this shit. <laughs> 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 Let's talk. We'll call you tomorrow. What's a good time tomorrow? Olivia. Oh. That's Sabrina? Yeah, Kim Wasabi's home. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off. I might log in on mine. <laughs> I got to get more followers. You know, we're competing here. Try to see who can get more followers. She's, she's, I, she's prettier. So I, I just, look, I know that this around, is difficult. Around 10 o'clock in the morning, you can call her. Okay, yeah, as soon as I get back. Oh, oh, more people. How many of you want to see Bert and I do a periscope? Look, 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 look. 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 Now we got Sabrina. Who did it say? Who did it say? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, you your hair so long. What did she say? Does she was? That's my daughter. Nah, nah, nah. Look what happened to mine. You can't tell the resemblance. You want to do the face, Dad? Why? I want to play it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's our face, I yo. <laughs> <laughs> I hope none of you After screenshotted you know, that. I learned how to do it. I was doing it all the time. <laughs> yeah, this is our houses. It's just like your house, Kat. This is that. You're FaceTiming somebody? Yeah, no, we're not no, FaceTiming. This is Periscope. Periscope. So, who sees it? All over the world. All over the world. Yo, all over the world. All over the world. Hit me up. <laughs> you know. I'm fine. You want to have I think it's time for the go. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we're signing off. Yes, we're signing off now. My hype daughter just got home. All right, so bye, guys.